Right, everybody. So we're going to be talking today about how to access Soundtrap and how to go about recording. I know that we've had some confusion and uh, I'm going to just try to clarify all of that right here. So I'm on the sixth grade band page or one of the sixth grade band pages. You're going to go over to classwork right over here to classwork. You're going to click on that. Once it loads, you are going to go down to band music, or uh, I think for some of the other classes, it is recording projects. And then you're gonna click on your uh, winter concert piece. When you click on it, then you're going to go down and you're gonna click on the Soundtrap link that is there. Now you're going to come up to this page right here and I'm going to click on uh, my Google account for the school district. So alexander.justice at lagrandsd.org. Loading me in. There we go. So now what we've got here, okay, is the backing track for Jingle Bells, okay, and this is, the, they'll have a backing track for whatever piece your class is playing. To create a new track, you're going to click on Add New Track over here on the left-hand side. You're going to click on Voice and Microphones. And then you're going to go over here to the right side of the track menu and you're going to click on track options. It's three little dots. Then you're going to click rename and you're going to put your name. So I'm going to put my name and then you're going to put your instrument. So trumpet, for example, or clarinet, saxophone, whatever it is that you play. All right. Once you're done with that, you're going to click the start recording button. Now, they recommend that you use headphones because that way you avoid getting any background noise in, um, in the recording. But I don't have them with me at the moment, so I'm gonna say I'm not using headphones. And then it's gonna start counting me off. Now you can hear that there's the backing track playing along here and that this and that my computer, my device was recording me. To delete uh, a recording, you're going to right click on it or double click on it and you're going to click go down to delete and that will get rid of it. Next thing we need to talk about is the metronome. Down at the bottom of the page, you're going to see a bunch of different options down here. On the very right hand side, there is an off button and a little gear. You want to click on that gear and then you want to click on two bar count in. Two bar count in. That'll give you two measures, eight clicks. You'll hear eight clicks before you have to start playing. Then you're going to click on the metronome on off and you're going to click it so it's on. This way when you start recording you're going to hear clicks. And so that way you'll be able to play with the clicking or with the metronome. The other reason why you want to have headphones is so you don't get the metronome sound in the background. Because if I go back and I turn the metronome off and I go back and I start from the beginning, you can actually hear the metronome coming out of my computer. So having headphones is super nice. Um, again, not required, but it is nice to have headphones or earbuds while you're playing. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. The next thing that you're going to be asked to do, when you enter this page, you're going to look up to the right-hand side and you're just, going to see, you're just going to see this button that says Exit Studio. You're going to click Exit Studio and then you're going to click, and I'm going to say Don't Save at the moment because I don't need to save. Now, I have a bunch of projects out here because I'm doing one for each class, 
But what you need to do is you need to go up to the right hand corner, you're going to see your name, and then you're also going to see a little envelope. Okay, and those are your messages. You want to click on your messages. And you're going to get a message from me that says, it's my name's Alexander Justice. It says, hi, and your name, would you like to join my project? And then you're going to click on the link that's directly below it. You're going to click on that project. When you click on it, it will take you to the studio so that you're able to start working on your group project. Now as you can see, as you can see, uh, a bunch of the eighth graders have already started um, making their group project. And so I've already started making their group project. And so you're going to look over here on the left, you're going to see a bunch of different names. And you'll do exactly what I said as far as adding a new track and then editing your name. And then you'll be able to see everybody's on that page. All right. Alrighty, that is all I've got for you right now. Go ahead and rewatch this video as many times as you need to to uh, get make your way through uh, uh, the soundtrack tutorial that I just made. And uh, yeah, have an awesome rest of your day.